My name is Eric Tucker and I cover the FBI Justice Department and National Security for the Associated Press. Former President Donald Trump has arrived in Florida ahead of a historic court appearance in Miami on federal charges related to the hoarding of classified documents at his Florida estate, Mar-a-Lago. This is going to be the second time in as many months that Trump has faced a judge on criminal charges. But this is a case that really stands out above and beyond the earlier New York prosecution. This is a case that involves serious national security charges that taken together carry the prospect of many years in prison. And it's a case that Justice Department prosecutors have said really jeopardize the safety of the military, the safety of confidential human sources, and the integrity of intelligence collection. There had been a grand jury that had been meeting for months in Washington to hear evidence in the Mar-a-Lago case, but recently we learned that there was a grand jury that was sitting in Florida, specifically in Miami, to hear evidence, and that is where last week the indictment was returned. From the former president's perspective, it could be thought of as a potentially positive development to have the case tried in South Florida as opposed to the very heavily, overwhelmingly Democratic District of Columbia. South Florida would draw from a more diverse jury pool. He also has had some success so far in litigation that's taken place in Florida. Specifically, he had a judge, Aileen Cannon, who last year in a fairly controversial ruling authorized the appointment of an independent special master to review the hundreds of classified documents that were seized at Mar-a-Lago. This was an opinion that was very, very favorable to Trump. It went against the Justice Department's position. It was subsequently overruled by a federal appeals court. And one thing that's really notable and interesting is that Cannon is actually going to be the judge, at least at the moment, who's going to be overseeing the case against Donald Trump going forward. And that is unquestionably, seems to be a fairly positive development for Trump. One thing that's worth watching is that Donald Trump has asked his supporters to be present in Miami when he's in court. He has encouraged protests, says he wants them to be peaceful, but he is actively trying to encourage um, his supporters and his backers to be present with him, to stand in solidarity. He was lamenting that they weren't as visible during his first appearance in New York um, as he would have wanted. And so that is a dynamic on the ground in Florida that is gonna concern law enforcement and it's gonna be something to really watch in terms of what level of supporters show up, um, to what extent is there gonna be violence. Um, he's already uh, sort of cited a, a um, surge of contributions um, to his campaign. So there's a lot that's swirling around the ground in Miami that, that bears watching.